Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. It is our Ask the Expert segment with Brenda Hollingsworth from OJ Hollingsworth Personal Injury. 789-6559, extension 2803. If you want to give us a call, you can always send us a message as well, a question on our email and on our Facebook page or even via Twitter. We do have a couple of callers uh, that have already uh, come in. Uh, and interesting because sometimes you're looking at uh, kind of major... Uh, major scale uh, accidents and things that uh, have severe trauma and other times it could be smaller things, things that just kind of take you out of the workforce and the workplace for a little bit. I do believe we have Anna on the phone from Canada. Good morning, Anna. Hi, good morning. What's your question for Brenda? Um, actually, yeah, I'm fairly, I think it's fairly simple here. Um, my daughter was out at, at an entertainment venue uh, on the weekend and had a nasty fall um, and she was advised by their first aider to call, have her friends call an ambulance, which I thought was kind of strange. Anyway, she was taken to hospital. Thankfully, the injury wasn't, you know, really too bad, but she just started a new job, so there was loss of wages and the cost of an ambulance and so forth. I I'm not looking like, you know, to sue necessarily, but are these types of things, uh, can they be handled in small claim, or is that a, a small cases where you really should be hiring a, a personal injury lawyer as well? Well, that's a, an excellent uh, example of when you should phone for a free consultation, right? So we could tell you, uh, people have different ideas of what a serious accident is. So, you know, some people think a broken arm isn't serious and some people think, a, you know, a sprained pinky is serious. So I don't know what your daughter's injury is. But um, often, smaller cases like that, assuming it is small, can be dealt with directly with the insurance company. And if you called our office, for example, we'd give you some tips on how to do that. Uh, often you don't need to uh, advance a lawsuit. Often you can just negotiate something directly with the insurance adjuster. We have a couple of books that are available on our website that help people who want to sort of handle things on their own. One of them is the Injured Victim's Guide to Fair Compensation, and it's free. You can just order that. The other is Crash Course. Crash Course is an excellent uh, do-it-yourself book. And right now it's available in PDF. It's out of print, but we could send a PDF, and that really helps people with smaller cases go through the steps to get compensation, often without a lawsuit at all. It's interesting that because you picked up and said, you know, sometimes people consider a broken arm to be to be small, but if that person is uh, a baseball player or an artist and, and they've broken their arm, that is actually a, a massive deal because that's, yeah. their, that's their livelihood. Yes. Well, and it's all of a question of perspective, right? right? Um, we get lots of broken wrists where somebody has a cast for six weeks and more or less uh, makes a full recovery. That is on the smaller scale, but it's still compensable. Yeah. The, Loss of wages, too. Sure, yeah. So uh, lots of interesting things. Have you felt that, and I'm just asking this because she had mentioned that it was a, it was a new job, that the, a lot of different reaction in terms of maybe the panic or the stress on the individual when it could be a company that said, listen, I've been there for 20 years. They understand that I'm going through a situation rather than someone saying, I started this jo job three weeks ago, and I'm worried that, you know, that's going to be the biggest factors that I'm going to, they're going to yeah. say, listen, we can't deal with this. Yeah, you're, you're, you're in up. probation mm -hmm. still, you're a problem, sorry, I know it's not your fault, but we need someone who's reliable. We get people like that all the time, and that's, that's a real concern. So, you know, if you miss one day, it's going to be fine. People are reasonably understanding. But, yeah, there can become a point where that small incident snowballs into a long-term uh, loss of income. So that's that's the reason why you don't want to go out and settle your case a week after it happens, mm -hmm. right? You do kind of have to see where the dust settles and make sure that you're aware of all of the fallout from your accident. Which is something we have talked about uh, many times. Yeah. It's just the, the prolonged injury and just exactly what you're going to be looking at long-term. We do have to take a break. We do have one more segment coming your way. So if you want to get those questions in, give us a call. 789-6559, extension 2803. Or leave us a message uh, via our email. Facebook, or even on Twitter.